Hi everyone, this is Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. As many of you know, we sell lifestyle properties. We have agents that cover the entire state of Maine. And we have a lot of fun bringing you those properties so you can see those. One of the things that we do like to do from time to time is share with you some of the lifestyles in the state of Maine, some of the things that you can do. And specifically uh, this series, we're gonna be focusing on some of the fairs and festivals that happen across the state of Maine, the different regions in the state that highlight, you know, great community, people coming together. And if you've ever been to one of the fairs and festivals, please share your favorite, or if you've been to one, just share it in the comments below. Now, if you are new to our channel, a new viewer, please hit the subscribe button and click on notifications, select all notifications so you don't miss out on a video. We're gonna start this series at the Whoopie Pie Festival in Dover Frostcroft. And throughout the season, we'll be bringing you the Wild Blueberry Festival and even the Lobster Festival, probably the 4th of July celebration in the city of Bangor. So I really think you can enjoy this series. We appreciate you watching. So look forward to seeing you on the first episode, the Whoopie Pie Festival. Hi everyone, this is Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine. Welcome to our first uh, episode of Fairs and Festivals in Maine, just to give you an idea of what happens across the state. Today we're heading to Dover Foxcroft to the Whoopie Pie Festival. Dover Foxcroft is the county seat of Piscataquis County, less than 5,000 people there, great little town. The Piscataquis River flows through the town. So the Whoopie Pie Festival, let's just get one thing straight right now. I know there's a big controversy out there. Where did it come from? Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania. Well, we all know it's a Whoopie Pie it's from Maine. Some other names that it's called by, the Bob, Gob, Black and White, Black Moon, and BFO, Big, Big Something Oreo. But hey, join us today. We're gonna to go over to the festival. There's gonna be chainsaw carving. There's gonna be a whippy pie eating contest. There'll be live music. So come along and we're looking forward to having you join us today. We've arrived at the fairgrounds here in Dover Foxcroft and they actually offer a free shuttle to and from the whippy pie festival. So let's go see if we can catch a ride. Are you driving it? Hello, the bus driver. There's only person driving in it. Okay, okay, just making sure. So there's more than just whoopie pies here. There's vendors that are lining Main Street. So we have a rock vendor here and then a shortbread cookies at a whoopie pie festival. And they even have horse rides for the kids, which is kind of cool. Get to wear off some of the sugar they ate. A little bounce house for the kids, something else to wear the sugar off. For those of you that like to hike, we have some Maine made walking sticks. Maine Northwoods Canes walking sticks. Pretty cool artwork here from Water Bear Arts. Now, whoopie pies are not just your summertime treat, Christmas time as well. Just ask Clark Griswold. Gathering here is at the food court, guys. I see some smoke rolling over at the fire department. I hope that's not trouble. I hope that's just meat grilling. Now there's more food here than just whoopie pies. Italian sausage, we've got french fries, pretzels, you name it. Oh, whoopie pies for dogs. Might have to get one of these for Phil. I think Phil would eat one of those and be a Phil snack. I got the Bang and Whoopie there on a bang or just went by their stand. Probably the original. Not bad. I still think my sister makes the best one. Wham. You should empty yours here. And I want to try the key lime one. Oh, that's interesting. Very good. Let's see what else we can find. Alright guys, we are approaching Bale's custom cakes. As you can see, it's a pretty good line.
here with Aaron of uh, Nutty Nettie's Cafe in Auburn. Aaron, thanks for taking the time to interview this thousands of people coming through the festival. Uh, it's been pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty nuts. So tell me a little bit about the cafe. So it's uh, Nutty Nettie's Cafe, located in the uh, Auburn Mall in Auburn, Maine, um, right there on Center Street. Uh, we just started out, and actually February was uh, one year for us. Uh, we serve a full line of uh, baked goods, chocolates, and candies. And on top of that, we serve uh, breakfast and lunch all day. Um, and that's pretty much it. Started about 18 years ago, just doing chocolates, just doing baked goods. And we decided to open up our own cafe. Pick all room, and from there we have the kind of, kind of a, a menu, breakfast and lunch menu, kind of balance things out. So, the rest is history. So this is the first, yeah. first uh, whoopie pie festival we've been to. First whoopie pie we've been to. Uh, our customer base uh, actually uh, suggested that you guys got to do this. Got to do the festival. You got to come out to the festival. Cool. Your, your, your products are amazing. Um, and I'm saying you're taking all the credit, but really it's my work. Awesome. My wife does all the work. Awesome. Well, Aaron, I wish you best of luck in the contest today. Thanks for taking time to interview. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Pie dispensary back here. Oh, okay. I don't believe those are the dispensaries. All right, guys. Um, where's everybody from? Oh. Is this your first festival? Yes, this is my first festival. Yeah, yeah. All right. You guys know anything about the history of Whoopie Pie? Like, where did it get today? No. Can you educate me on it? No, but I just took a guess. What do you think? Keep it clean because we do have kids watching. Uh, I don't know. All right. Really so, know. what I have heard, like, Farmers, wives, making cakes, and whatever was left over, she would make uh, a cake and set it up with a farmer. Where was it originated? Any ideas? What's, what state? I'll be, I'll be more specific. I'm going to say this one. Maine. That's what I said. Like, there is a big controversy like Massachusetts, New Hampshire. Matt's always going to get rid of our good kids. Good point. So, um, your favorite whoopie pie, what flavor? I'm going to go the OG chocolate with peanut butter on the inside. Alright, mine's the original. Yep, okay. Plain Jane. Plain Jane, you know, because I'm old. That's a classic. Classic. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Hey, you guys are here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Ryan. Ryan, where are you from? I'm from Herman. From Herman? Yeah, Herman. Yeah. Yep. Herman right. Maine. So what brought you to the Wookiee Pie Festival? Well, I was over at Peace Kenny yesterday with my little one, and um, I saw a sign that says, hey, Wookiee Pie Festival, and we decided to come today and check it out. First time here. First time here? Yes, it is. So, um, Peace Kenny State Park, great place to go swimming, right? It is. I'd recommend it if you have any little ones or anything like that. It's really nice over there. So, Ryan, what do you know about the history of the Whoopie Pie? Anything at all? I know it's from Maine. They, that's what they say. So. They say it's from Maine, but there's this huge controversy. It, it is. Like Massachusetts. Yes. New so. Hampshire. So. Yep. I agree with you it's from Maine. Yes. Right? I agree. I agree. So, uh, your favorite flavor? Uh, I think the original. The original? I think, yeah. That's mine as well. I think so. Yeah. It has nothing to do with our age. I think we're pretty close in age. Yes. Yes. So we're, we're, I, was we're old. I was told it was classic. We were classic. That's right. We're classic. That's why we like the classic. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so 2011, it was named the State Treat, the Whoopie Pie was. 
Oh, it was. I did not know that. Largest whoopie pie. You ready for this? Yes. Made in South Portland, over a thousand pounds. Holy cow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So that would make a good whoopie pie eating contest. It right would there. be right there. Cool. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, thanks for your time. Hey, no I, problem. I really appreciate it. Talk to you later. Sounds good. <laughs> Hey guys, that wraps up the 2023 um, Whoopie Pie Festival. Let's just kind of recap. There is a shuttle service for the Whoopie Pie Festival, but it's only seven tenths of a mile walk. So I encourage you to walk because, hey, you're going to be eating all kinds of Whoopie Pies anyways. There's plenty of vendors there, all kinds of main crafts, plus the Whoopie Pies. And then there's all kinds of fun things to do for the family and the kids. So glad you joined us. This has been Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties of Maine.